guys, this is Jackie, your nerdy crafter, and I'm pretty freaked out of oceans and seas. That might have something to do with the fact that I nearly drowned a couple of times as a kid. Whatever's underwater is pretty scary. And so for this week's tutorial, I wanted to show you guys how to make your very own octopus in a bowl. I absolutely love how the octopus turned out, and by glazing it with resin, it makes the project look a lot more realistic and kind of wet. This project is in collaboration with Jackie from Bon Appetit. She makes octopi in bowls, and so when I approached her and asked her if I could recreate the project idea, but not the same octopus, she was totally in for it. So if you don't want to make your own octopus in a bowl, why not head over to her Instagram and her store, which I'll leave links in the description box below, and commission her. Speaking of awesome artists, I wanted to introduce you guys to X from X Marks the Spot. You guys know I have a sweet spot for Dragon Ball stuff. So make sure you check out his Instagram, he has such amazing pieces and his art is just so amazing and I am so jealous. I'll leave a link for his Instagram, also in the description box below. For those of you new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, there are plenty of geeky tutorials to keep you entertained. Equally, if you like this project, don't forget to leave a like and share. Here's what you'll need for this project. Translucent red and black polymer clay, all these are from Sculpey, liquid Sculpey, rounded and pointy tools, a blending tool if you have, if you don't that's okay, you can use a toothpick, blue acrylic paint, rubbing alcohol and a q-tip to clean up your piece from fingerprints or dust particles, your resin kit, this one is called Envirotex Light and I got it at Michael's, but you could definitely find it at home hardware stores as well. And last but not least, a bowl that you want to put your octopus in. I found this seashell one at the dollar store. The first thing we're going to do is take our red and translucent and mix them up. Once that's done, we're going to make a kind of bubble for the head. Pull down part of that clay so it kind of seems like a skirt. Put two pieces for the eyes. Make a dent with your rounded tool and put either black or yellow on the inside. If you want, take your toothbrush and texture it. Once we have all that, you're going to take your clay again, roll it out into thin snakes and put eight of those for the legs. Make sure you take your time to blend it. Put it in the bowl and put the tentacles any way that you want. And here's what it should look like. Now you're going to bake it for 20 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. This time, make sure that your oven was not preheated. We don't want the glass to break. Once it reaches the temperature, then you can count your 20 minutes. Once it's out of the oven, you're going to take your black paint, lay on some black stripes. Once that's dry, you're going to take blue and put it right on top. Once the paint has fully dried, you're going to take your resin, mix it according to package instructions, and then put it all over the bottom and on top of the octopus. Make sure while you're putting the resin down, you're also kind of glazing your octopus. Now let it cure for 24 hours before putting it as decoration. All done! Don't forget to check out information on Bon Appetit and X Marks the Spot. Now tell me, what is the scariest sea creature for you? I would say anything that swims. If you have suggestions for future geeky tutorials, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to add me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram. Until then, I will see you guys next week.